I was going to do a, a project and fundraiser, so I got eight motivated students who wanted to help out. So we did continual fundraisers. One such fundraiser was on Entrepreneur Day, quote unquote, which happened in San Diego State. There was a big pathway on the main campus, and there were um, uh, tables, little stations, all the way down, a very long span. And the word of the day was profit. These were all business majors who wanted to make a profit on their entrepreneurial idea. For me, we were the nonprofit group. Kind of got shunned. No one liked us. We had everything donated to us on this day. We had a diner. We had Costco. We just had a whole bunch of donated, which in <coughs> itself was very moving to see people so willing to give. On this day, we were the most profitable stand. We made the most amount of money. All the stands around us lost all of their money. So this was very inspiring for us. We're a nonprofit, we make the most profit. I thought that was very cool. And uh, during this time, we actually had parents and students stop on a regular basis asking if they could go to Kenya. This time, I knew we didn't have a visitor center. You know, we were planning to get that visitor center. Just hold on, you know, so we collected a lot of information, but Everyone wanted to go and to experience and to help and do good work and be that direct hand connection. And since we have that visitor center now, it's very exciting because we know that there's that interest of the young people, youthful, especially in the college, because that's where I've, I've got the most traction. In. They all want to go. They all want to experience it. So this is the, a lot of the areas of progress, the awareness, the schooling, uh, the basic needs, and the structures that we've already had built. This project began in 2008. This has been three years, which is very exciting for us to have such progress in such a short span of time. Um, now I want to move into where we see this project going in the future. The three areas that we want to focus on in 2012. The first is the food program. The second is the schooling effort. And the third is the uh, connection that we wish to instill and to build. The food pr program that we wish to set up is an agricultural-based program. They currently own land and they're growing crops on it, but we want to get more crops. We want them to teach them how to fish. We want them to be able to be self-sustaining. It's not going to help just to give them the fish to eat each day and keep bringing that fish. If we give them enough land, they can be self-sustaining, and we can grow not only the kids, the crops, we can get them up to a level where they can help out in the area, but more importantly, they can help out themselves. And if they're self-sustaining, that will be a huge accomplishment. This is something we want to focus on is getting that land, getting the food, getting that system to start kicking off in 2012. Um, we're very excited about this, especially since we already reviewed the basic needs. It only costs $20 for these kids to live. We can do that. Uh, the other piece is the schooling piece. We, when I say we, I mean my father personally interviewed all the, the teachers that we wish to, to be employed. They gave a couple mock lectures. They were, some of them were the, the, the gentleman that, that was standing in the picture. We personally interviewed, we saw them, we saw their teaching, we proved the credentials, we walked through everything, but we haven't um, got them in that door. Right now the caretakers are providing the education. We want to step that up and get the professionals, teachers, and eventually get better teachers. So that's going to be a continual effort, but in 2012, our goal is to get K-7 kicked off with that better education level, stepping the bar up. In addition to this piece, um, another interesting point was that we found these kids in Kenya we can also help our kids in America. Something that I found, our kids in America are screwed up, are completely lost. In California, I had an opportunity to teach or, or to give a lecture in my mom's third grade class. That was a day I didn't have work. So sure, sure, I'll go in, show a series of pictures, be a very simple lesson. Um, in, this, in this lesson, I had all the kids and I just put up pictures of the playground, the classroom, very simple pictures. I said, what can you see that's different in the picture? Little Billy. You know, the, the classroom doesn't have lights. Very good. What else? And then the hands were going up. They all, they all were very good. No computers, no lights, no desks. What's going on with that board? A lot of those questions. I, I, I'll be honest, there was one kid, he was eating a crayon. He wasn't paying attention at all, but most of them were very engaged. So um, this went back and forth for some time. And then it got to the point where you could see the discomfort from all the kids. They started to, Kenya's not the place for me. Well, thank you, Mr. Cobb, but it's not the place for me. 
I don't really want to go, thank you very much. And so I asked one of them questions who looked particularly disturbed about the whole thing. Would you want to go? Very baited question. He said, no. No, I don't. Very proud little California third grader. No, I got a PlayStation here, a TV, I'm good. No, thank you. And so I just put it in, in reverse, and I just started going back through the pictures with all the kids. And I said, well, what do you see in each one of the pictures of the kids? And, I, and it went for a while. So I kept going, what do you see? Anyone see any hands? Eventually, one of the kids put his hands up and said, they're all smiling, Mr. Cobb. They're all smiling. This was huge for me. You know, again, the kid continued to use cramp, but most of them, <laughs> most of them seemed like something happened. I thought, you know what, if I could do a little bit, hopefully it'll go a long way. I don't know. Um, sure enough, a couple days later, my mom actually called me and said, guess what, the parents have been calling me, thanking me, because their kids, their kids came home and started saying thank you for things they've never said thank you for. <laughs> they actually said thank you for the meal, they said thank you for the TV, they were just happy about everything in their in their lives, which was very cool to hear that actually some sort of hope and traction happened from these third grade kids. I'm sure he didn't, who was eating crayons. But all these other kids seem to have uh, a moving experience, and I'm just glad to be a part of that. But more importantly, those kids in Kenya were the ones who did it. So hopefully we want to be able to continue that effort in providing these lessons, these moral lessons for these kids. Um, in America who are so far detached from basically everything. So we want to obviously continue doing that um, in both fronts of providing the education, helping the education, and then connecting the students in Kenya with the students in uh, America. Um, speaking of connection, that's the third piece that we want to move forward with in 2012. One of the things we're excited we want to start kicking off is to have conference calls with people who are interested in America with the people in Kenya. We want people to connect. And we have the people who speak English who can share stories. We have people who are motivated over in America who are sharing stories. We get them together, good will happen. That's our plan. And the progress that we wish to, to, to continue going towards is those people going to Africa. So you get to start to talk to those people. We want to eventually have people visit the visitor center, do good work, help out. But most importantly, It'll change both lives. Both parties will experience great things, which is what we're very excited about. Providing that connection and the opportunity for not only young people, not only anyone that we meet, but anyone who's motivated and interested enough in America to go and visit Kenya and our visitor center and help as much as they can. So um, I know I, I've done a, a little bit of work on the social networking front. I'm not very good, but we do have a Facebook page just for the kids, but um, we, uh, we continue this effort to try to speak when, when we can and where we can. I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to share the little rescue project that we've been undergoing for the last three years. I'm going to bring Marty up here. I know we've saved some time. You might want to comment on some of the, the church fund, but I wanted to really see if there's any questions, comments, any feedback that you guys have.